For those of you who are new, I am Trika of Trika Plants, and to my returning subscribers, welcome back cuties. This is where the planning and the cuteness collide. On my channel, I will share my love for planning, all things cute, along with other aspects of my lifestyle, and some encouragement. I hope you find some inspiration here and decide to stay. And if you're not already a part of Trika Plans, hashtag cuteness squad, what are you guys waiting on? All you simply have to do is tap the red subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you can be notified of my uploads and lives. Give your girl a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. I hope you guys are ready for what we have in store for you today over here at Trick of Plans. So if you are ready, then let's get into maybe the plans or maybe not. I am here for another Soulful Sunday. We are on week two of Love One Another. We are here for week two to ask for forgiveness i will be reading out of the niv version of the bible i have here this is my faith planner i'm using the recollections um faith blessed love peace that's what i am using right now um i still have my happy planner i i got a couple of situations going on here so i'm just gonna i mean i'm trying a little of this a little of that to see which one i like so we will be reading from the niv version of the bible proverbs 17 and 17 which i am going to do a bible journal entry in my Pro psalms and proverbs illustrated faith bible and so i have that here and i also have my my um journaling things that i'm going to use and also we're going to read matthew 18 verses 21 through 22 so um i was going to do a plan with me but i will just plan a faith plan with me and um and then we'll go from there you never know if time permits if it doesn't take me too long i will probably do both i'm not sure so let's um go over the materials that i will be using in this journaling first i have some american craft scissors these are the gold ones i have um actually i have like three pairs of these um i two pair were gifted to me and i brought a pair myself but i brought the pair I, well i brought a i brought a set i brought this um, this and a gold ruler, but I think I left the gold ruler at a planner meetup or something. But anyway, I have blessings because what you don't want to do is block your blessings for not forgiving someone. So I just had to jot down my notes. Let me make sure I move that on the side. And these, this is a printable from Vin Von Alley. If you check out my girl Lakeisha Loves to Plan video, she did a printable haul. She's showing you how to use the printables, what paper to use in everything. So make sure you check her video out. I am gonna really try hard to start putting stuff in the description bar. I am still learning. No one gave, no one, <laughs> told me i was diving into a second job with this youtube thing but anyway we're gonna still try to make it happen and i also have some kits here from vin von alley so the principal is from vin von alley the kits are from vin von alley and this is just a sticker a stick cold um little stickers that i got from um probably hobby lobby and i also have the um the highlighter marker strips. I already cut the blue one out because that's what I probably want to use. I also have Faith here. I was gonna use this kit, but I'm always using florals. So I said, you know what, I'll try this right here. So without further ado, um, let's get to this Bible journaling entry. We are here on Proverbs 17 and 17. And you don't have to definitely cut these um, principles out really good because it's on clear paper, the Avery clear paper, and it, you can get it on Amazon. 
so make sure you check that out and i just want to highlight i want to highlight the verse that we're doing 17 and 17. so you just take your paper it's not going to show up anyway so you don't have to do it perfect me i never do i never do it perfect and I don't like to bother it too much because I always kind of like mess it up. So I'm just going to give you a snippet of that and watch my girl video so that you can see how to print printables and how to do all of that. So we are on Proverbs. Oh, wait a minute. I'm just... technical with it. Okay, let's see here. And this this paper here do not play. It is sticky. Okay, so Proverbs 17 and 17. about this I, mean, I may have to cut some of this highlighter off so you know, we do have the rings so let's see okay there we go and they made these pages a little bit more thicker see and you can't even tell that I was struggling like that right so <laughs> So let's get into, let's get into it. Let, let me quit goofing off, which I'm not really goofing off, but this is how real life goes behind the scenes. You know, you think you have a game plan and then it just sometimes go to the left, but it ends up working out for the, for the good, you know? So let's get into it and we will start um, with... Yeah, we will start with Proverbs 17 and 17. Okay, I am going to continue and just cut out all of the parts to the printable that I want to put in my journaling section for the Proverbs 17 and 17. I have already highlighted it with one of the highlighter um, splotches from Vin Von Alley. And I am going to read to you... We're going to go into Proverbs 17 and 17. I'm doing the NIV version of this. And it says, A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. A friend is someone who is there through thick and thin. And thin. What does this verse say about when to be a friend you should always want to be a friend you should be the type of friend that you want someone to be to you if you're always just being that friend that never be the type of friend that your friends want, then maybe it's time to take a look at that. Take a look in the mirror. I am the type of friend that I want my friends to be. I'm a loving friend. I'm a caring friend. I will check on you. I will do anything for you. But at some point in time, you have to look at the equation and be like, darn, are they being that way with me? Because I have been friends with some people for a long, long time, well over 10 years, and I've always been that good friend, but once I start just getting my quiet time, reading my word and everything, I started seeing things in a different light. I even see things in some of my friends now that I never saw before, and some people are just selfish they want to suck you dry and 
don't have anything to give back. And that's, it doesn't mean monetary or gift gifts. It's just it's just substance. They don't really have nothing but negativity to give. And you know, who wants that all the time? But I am really getting into this journaling. So what we're going to do is read Matthew 18, 21 and 22 before I start going on a, on a on a preaching sermon to you guys. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you not seven times, but 77 times. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of times. But we are asking for forgiveness. We have to forgive. Friends need friends need to ask for forgiveness. When you are talking to God, thank him for his forgiveness and for sending Jesus to wash away our sins. We have to start holding each other accountable. Like, you know, some people have a hard time forgiving. Some people don't know how to forgive if it's something that has hurt you or someone have hurt you something has happened look back into all of my um soulful sundays i have uh i have a whole thing on forgiveness so we all make mistakes sometimes one day jesus close friend peter made a big mistake when people were being mean to jesus people excuse me Peter pretended that he didn't even know who Jesus was. In Luke 22 and 57, Peter tells a woman, I don't know him. Twice more, he tells people that he is not one of Jesus' friends. When Peter realized what he had done, he was sorry for his actions because Jesus loved Peter. He forgave him. Forgiveness is an important part of friendships. You have to talk to each other. You have to let your friends know when they are wrong. I try to let people know when they are wrong, but sometimes it doesn't always go the way I anticipate it because they don't want to hear it or some people cannot handle the truth. So when, when have you hurt one of your friends? Um, ask for forgiveness. What happened when you ask for forgiveness? See if they forgive you. You just have to take the time out to try to be the type of friend for one that you want people to be to you. It's not a one-sided relationship. Friendships are relationships. You have to, it's a two-sided thing. It's like you're in a relationship because you're going to want to talk to your friend all the time. You're going to want to um, ask their advice. You, but if it's always one-sided and you're always the taker but never the giver, you're always the receiver but never reach out to even do the things that your friends are doing for you, then sometimes maybe you need to look in the mirror, ask for forgiveness. It's never too late to ask for forgiveness and it's never too late to change. I even had to change my ways and stuff over the years, but I've always been a great friend and I hold that. I hold my head high with that. And I just know that I had to forgive a lot of people in order for me to feel better and for me to be forgiven because I'm not perfect by a long shot. So just take the time out, refocus, reflect, and reset a couple of things, and then ask for forgiveness. Okay, I know I had to move a couple of things around. I was struggling a little bit, but these stickers are repositionable, and I love this paper that they're using on this bible because it is thicker and you can you have room for error but i hope you guys enjoy and remember ask for forgiveness if you have not forgiven and take a look in the mirror and get your act together thank you so much 
I'll see you towards the end and I'll show you the ending of this spread. I think it's going to be awesome. See you guys later. Uh, then you see me trying to put this. I wanted to use that so bad, but it's not going to work. So I just saved it for later and you can do that with these printables. Love it. So I'll see you guys towards the end. And remember, ask for forgiveness, forgive yourself, and forgive others, and be that friend that you want someone else to be. Don't be a one-sided friend. Be in the relationship wholeheartedly. Thank you. Enjoy. Okay, cuties, here is the completed spread. I know it seemed like I was struggling a little bit, but believe you me, this Bible journaling is so therapeutic and relaxing to me. I just be in my own little world, and I don't bother. I don't I don't get upset about the little nicks and crannies, because guess what? Look how beautiful that is. And I just fussy cut it out, because it's going to be on clear paper anyway. So, I don't really worry about it. I can overlap stuff. I And you see how I had to reposition this? I love her principles because they are so spread apart. You can reposition them. You can do them however you want. And the type of pen, like when I write on these, I use a Sharpie marker so that it can just stay and it won't smear and bleed. But for the actual pages, I use a Micron pen. And um, I'm going to date this. This is going to be the 14th. And this is um, a part of Love One Another. Yes, so this is this is it. I hope you guys enjoy. Again, here it go. See you in the next one. Toodles. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to stay updated on my videos and my lives. All you simply have to do is tap the red subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you can get a little ding ding or a little beep beep whenever I come on live or I upload a video. Give your girl a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I would love to have you over here at Treat the Plants hashtag cuteness squad. And I can't wait until the next video. So I will see you guys soon. Toodles.